Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our gospel today is the common story of the, the road to disciples on the road to Emmaus. And this is taking place after the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. As we account in the gospel that after three days, and here we see that Cleopas, one of the two disciples, did not recognize Jesus when he said, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days? Perhaps you may ask the question, why is it that Cleopas did not recognize Jesus immediately? Let us go back to the gospel of yesterday, that even Mary Magdalene did not recognize Jesus immediately. For the very reason, because of the glorified, the resurrected body, which is not the same as the earthly body of Jesus. Or perhaps we could also say that Cleopas did not recognize Jesus because he's not part of the circle of Jesus. So to say, it's not part of the 12 disciples, 12 apostles. So he's just a disciple of our Lord Jesus Christ. For other reasons why they did not recognize him. But I think our Lord Jesus Christ also made it a point that when he started to do things that he used to do while still alive with his disciples, when he started to speak the word at scriptures, and most especially when he started to break the bread, then lo and behold, this was the opportunities that their eyes were opened. And here they said, were not our hearts burning within us? Who well, spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? And here, my dear brothers and sisters, this account of the gospel points to us, the Eucharist, as a great memorial gift that Christ has left to us. There are two Eucharistic actions that we can derive from the gospel. And this is when Jesus spoke the scriptures, this is breaking of the word. And when Jesus started to break the bread, this is breaking of the bread or the Eucharist, in which two important things, two actions that you always continuously remember at the, at the celebration of the Eucharist. It is the word and it's the bread. In which we know that these two important Eucharistic actions, they are the source of our strength, the source of our hope, the source of our healing, as being mentioned in the first reading today. Truly enough, every time we come to celebrate, we remember Jesus because of his word. Every time we come to celebrate, we remember Jesus because of his body. The bread that we took, partook and we partake at the Eucharist. But your brothers and sisters pointing to us that we're not only Eucharistic persons, but we are Eucharistic and children of the risen Lord, a community and people of the Easter of the resurrected Christ. As we continue to live and partake in the breaking of the word and the breaking of the bread, but most especially, let us be real bread and real word in our community.